We are fortunate to have with us Martin Snyder from Seattle Yachts, and we are getting aboard the Endurance 750? Yeah, Endurance 750. Skyline. 2022 model. This is an absolutely gorgeous vessel, and we are fortunate that Martin has uh, invited us aboard. Take it away. If any of you watch the videos I make, I say they're unprofessional, so don't think just because there's a professional behind the camera it's going to be any different. Oh, I so, but we're, we're, we're here, as them. was said, uh, 2022 Endurance 750 Sky Lounge. This vessel is equipped with C-18 cats. Some of the great features of the boats before we step on board, all of our boats have zero speed stabilization in the 70 and above. They have hydraulic balance stern thrusters. They all come with chilled water air conditioning, hydronic diesel heat, Garmin navigation, etc. You'll see as we go through the boat, and these are standard features. These are not upgraded features. Once you're quoted a price for the boat, it's all inclusive. It's like going to your favorite resort and all your drinks coming. You do have to buy your drinks. So please, as you step aboard the boat, you'll see how easy it is to get on and off the boat. There are a great feature which people don't think about. This is an oval handrail instead of round like we have here on these transom staples. These are really great for your hand. It fits the style. You can get a good hold on it, which is nice if you have older couples. And a lot of our buyers are 60 to 85 years of age on this vessel. Yeah. So when they're getting on and off, it makes the egress and all that much, much easier. At nighttime, underneath, there's a light here. So you have down lighting. So when you're tying the boat up, it's really great. When you get in the marina at 9, 30, 10 o'clock at night, you can see the cleat and see the lines. It's really a nice aid in docking the boat. That's exceptional. You have dual access to get up to the uh, aft deck. Also, if you're having service techs work on the boat, you have a watertight transom door. You also, as you'll see as you go through the boat, you have very nice access into the crew area, the engine room, and et cetera. There's also a split head and shower back here in this area. So please, come aboard. Here you have a very nice aft deck. Teak decks are standard, non-skid is also standard, and you can have a credit for not having teak decks. We only put teak where they're covered. You can see the side decks, they're very wide, but the teak stops where the cover stops. So a couple other little features, which is really nice from an engine room standpoint. You'll see these vents. These are the air plenums that are airs coming in and discharging from the engine room. They're not on the side of the hull. So you're out there in rough water and that water is splashing against the side of your boat. It's not splashing against your air intake and your engines aren't drawing that salt air and water into the engine compartment. So it really helps keep our engines clean. So all of our 750 Sky Lounges have four external helm stations. So port and starboard wing stations, aft. Then when we're up on the second Portuguese bridge area, you'll see we have two fold-out wing stations also, plus your main helm station and a yacht controller. So the yacht controller allows you to walk around the boat and stand back here, stand on the dock if you're tying the boat up by yourself and run the thrusters and the engine transmissions. That's fabulous. If you want to take a walk around, please. Here, you'll see that the rails are at least 39 inches and there's plenty of room. You don't have to go sideways. You can just walk straight ahead. Nice feature with all of our boats that we build from 63 and above. Fuel fill is here. The fuel tank vent is right here. And the tanks are a Ford ship, which means they go sideways across the boat. Mm. They have an inch and a half inner diameter crossover. So I can fill the boat on this side, fill both tanks within about 20, 30 gallons as it's filling up. So I don't have to spin the boat around. I don't have to drag a hose around the boat to fill it. So this is a great feature. So with no vent on the side of the boat, you don't have the you not don't have the fear of spilling diesel in the water when you're fueling the boat, which is a huge thing. Absolutely. Great for the environment, great because the Coast Guard will not fine you for spilling fuel. What um, is the fuel capacity? Twenty one hundred gallons on this boat. You can have more if you deem you want a longer range, but the boat offers plenty of range at trawlers. Two tanks? Yeah, two tanks. Like I say they go with Thorn ship, so they're sideways with a one and a half inch inner diameter crossover between them, and that's what allows you to fill from just one side at a time. So, and as you step up here to the Portuguese bridge area, Portuguese bridge, as I understand it, comes from Portuguese fishermen, right? So 
the boats would have inverted windshields in the pilot house. This one happens to be equipped with standard style back windows. But the Portuguese bridge is so when the water would hit the bridge, it would break off and go through big scuffers. And it gives you this high protective area. But you can see how high this is on your waist, so you can feel comfortable walking around the boat. And we'll see this from the inside, but you have port and starboard uh, deck house access doors. All of our cleats are recessed, these Haas cleats. You'll see, so you're not going to catch your shin on them. It makes it really nice. There's a lot of detail, and you'll see it if you were to walk down the side of the boat. All of our port lights are also recessed. Nothing sticks out. It's just a great feature. So well thought out. It's just so you can walk out here, and this is the Portuguese bridge. So the idea the water would break over, hit the bridge, and there's large scuppers, port and starboard, and the water runs out. <laughs> but this is a great deck. couple of settees. Uh, we offer... Tables out here. Not everybody wants them because there's. You'll see there's plenty of room for relaxation on the rest of the boat. Uh, and so, here on either side of the windlass, you have uh, storage bins. These lift out, and this is a center split. And you can have four to five hundred feet of chain on either side. This is half inch chain. So like I say these lift out, so you have access if you have chain that gets stuck. Uh, fresh and salt water wash downs up here. So, again, oval handrails. These are two and a half inch handrails. Wow. So, very, very safe, secure to grab onto. Um, you can see looking up top, that's the second Portuguese bridge. And so, on either side up forward, there's another helm station. So, the captain can stand up there, sight line down the side of the boat while his best mate is tying up the lines. Brilliant. So these are this is all storage. So you have a tremendous amount of storage all the way through the Portuguese bridge. They all have rubber they're all rubber gaskets, so you don't have water inside, which is nice. And I don't know if you can use your camera, even with this, you can sight line to see the boat behind us. So you can see all the way through the boat. And you really notice that when we step on the inside. Yeah. On our Skylines models, this is a great room. From the time you step on the aft deck, look in the door, it's one big joined area. And this right behind us on this boat is a wraparound galley versus a helm station. With the oh, sky wow. lounge, you don't need the lower helm station, which is really cool. Come on, in. Let's see it. we'll walk around and step inside. Again, two of fill on this side as well. One other feature both port and starboard. So if you're at a high dock or tied next to your friend's yacht, you have side boarding gates as well. Right. And if you've been swimming, beautiful day head. So that's really fantastic. nice feature. All of our boats from 63 foot and above have a standard day head. Day head accessible from, from the outside? Yeah, right. They all yeah, have a day head here, right? every boat. Drop down televisions, you have cameras, which you'll see when we're in the Sky Lounge. And this is a, a standard general arrangement. Depending on the model, the head may be over there and the stairs may be over here, but they all offer the same feature. Sure. So I'm going to slide my shoes off. Uh, dual access to go to the uh, flybridge area, these molded in stairs, and then stairs from inside. So come on aboard. As I was saying, if you look through the boat now where we're standing forward, it's really a great room. Uh, again, depending on the model, this might be flip-flop, but you have a TV, entertainment center, stereo, high-low television, large box windows with very nice blinds. And, you know, the blinds are, you, Hunter Douglas, you get to work with the designer to choose your blinds. You choose your furniture. We custom build settees. That's all included as part of the boat. If you want hardwood floors instead of carpeting, which there's actually hardwood floors under that carpet, um, that's all standard. Uh, to your left, if you look down, that's the access to the four stateroom, crew area, and engine room. We'll go in there later. Sure. This is this is where the day head was, and you can see how beautiful all this raised panel. So you can do you can have this raised panel design. It's a little more classic. You can do a flat panel. Or you can do what we do, we have a diamond pattern design. 
which is really really nice but it's all macquarie cherry just gorgeous there and there are other choices if someone wanted to do walnut or do a lighter wood but this seems to satin finish macquarie cherry is what most people have a tendency to choose this is absolutely stunning and the headroom in here is incredible yeah it's almost is, seven feet it? seven feet has to be so you know, I, I've always heard that brokers don't tell the truth. You're six five. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And my mom is obviously four nine. My dad was six three. So if you can read that, what does that say? Seven feet. That's it, isn't it? Six feet two inches. No, I'm just kidding. That's it. it does no, say that's uh, that's seven feet. Yeah, it's seven feet. Right? Pretty incredible. No, that is amazing. It, it is amazing when people that are six foot six walk in here and they don't have to stoop over. Yeah. So, come on up into the country kitchen. That's what we call the Sky Lounge versions. Uh, if you had one of our standard pilot houses, the galley would be aft here on either side. It'd be a U-shaped galley. But with the Sky Lounge in a 720, you have all this great space. So whether you drink iced tea or Long Island iced teas, you have this beverage center. There's a, a wine cooler refrigerator don't mind all the alcohol they don't drink um, there's an ice maker here and then sorry uh, and then lots and lots of wow. storage space uh, melee cappuccino machine and again like I say storage everywhere this is really great when you have you know your grandmother's favorite platter and then behind you formal dining and look at it's set up so in here they have their china in these drawers and um, again for when they're having breakfast they have a television but if you shoot behind here you can see in the bar how really nice and large this bar area oh yes yeah. get back here these are heated uh -huh. these are heated floors that we're standing on the caesar stone we do granite marble but this is all standard the customer gets to choose the stone they want in the boat. But this happens to be a Caesar stone. Yeah, really breathtaking. And then you walk up here. This is just an art feature, something fun. You walk up into this galley, and this is a real two-person working galley. This is incredible space when you look at how much room's in here. Uh, choices of refrigeration. Uh, in this case, the folks wanted the full-size side-by-side with the bottom freezer. We do, we'll put the undercounter refrigerated drawers in and then do some different work and cabinetry up above. But you can see, and what's really nice, or the chef in the family, if you stand here and you look, just pan out and around. This is what the chef gets a look at why he or she are preparing meals. Yeah, this is uh, awesome. And now look all the way through the boat. Sure. So whatever's going on in here, you can be part of what's going on in the main saloon as well. Sure. But, and this is all in 75 feet of boat. It's, 70, it's 78 feet, 8 inches overall, roughly 130,000 pounds dry, 20 foot beam, 5 foot 2 draft, maybe 5 foot 4. I mean, everything varies by how much weight you put into a boat, of course, right? Okay. But the storage space in here is really incredible. When you look at what's in the galley, what's around the settee area, and what's in the, in the bar area, beverage center, it's really impressive. The stonework is great too. You can see the that four inch edge going all the way around, and yeah. how it's all fitted in here. Oh, the craftsmanship is. Well, this family's been in business since 1965. It's run by the son mm -hmm. now, uh, Jeff Chen, and they've had a lot of their craftsmen for 20 years. I mean, they, it just shows in the it detail absolutely work. Absolutely shows. It's it's absolutely stunning. When I was speaking earlier about the about these doors, panographic style door, you can see all the stainless steel hardware, one hand operation, so they slide out. So these are stainless steel framed, they're trimmed, uh, cherry wood on the inside and glass on the outside. They have these stainless bars and there's there's a protective guard here, so you can leave these open like this just for cross ventilation if you want. Mm -hmm. But when you close them, I don't know if you can hear this. The rubber seal is being yeah, smashed, you can and that's hear the it. air coming out of the seal. So you have a watertight seal. We used to have opening windows, 
you could never stop on these doors from leaking. So we went to solid and made these so you could leave the doors open for cross ventilation. That's fantastic. Up or down? Let's go down. All right. So you have an electrical panel here. These are just for things that you'd use in this general area. Sure. Then we have the main panels, main panels aft. Everything has protective cover. It's all color-coded, labeled. You can see it is all lined on the inside. It's, it's black, and it's all lined, so for protection from any arcing. So, beautiful. Come on now. You're going to come in this beautiful foyer. And so, again, this will be based on what the client wants for their stonework and design. But you have this and the hardwood floors. This is what you can have throughout the whole boat if you want them all to be hardwood. Uh, art nook. And I'll promise you I won't get the lights right, but let's see what I can do here. There we go. <laughs> Everybody has a different thing they like to have here. We've done uh, stainless fish climbing up to the water, all kinds of different uh, little features. So standing in the foyer, if you go forward, this is our VIP area. Uh, everybody, so VIP forward suite. This is a Queen Island bed. What's nice about this, this boat's wide enough that honestly you take one step, you can make the whole bed. It's not tucked in behind cabinetry, so when you're making the bed, the headroom in here again, this is right at seven feet, so this is more. So when this steps up, so does this. And we did this design just so it had, it didn't seem so tall, and it's kind of a nice a nice feature. Hanging locker access to your in-suite head. So each suite down here has its own head. So head and shower. Again, heated floors. And the choice is electric or hydronically heated off of the diesel heating system. The size of the shower, it's hard to tell when, probably from the video, but that is a it's massively big shower. I don't think. You know, you see a lot of curves. The fit and finish in this boat is rivals any other boat manufactured. It absolutely does. These are all semi-custom boats, so I wouldn't call it a production boat, but it is closer to production from a, the models we build. But mm -hmm. within those models, we do a lot of custom work for the customers. Uh, let me show you. We've probably done it from your side, but let me do it this way. So this forward filled area, and you'll be able to tell there's no smell in here. You feel nothing wasting up. Not at all. This gives you access to your holding tank, to your uh, hydraulic valve thruster. It's really clean. Everything is sanded, painted. I mean, they're beautifully done. Easy for a service tech to get down here or an owner operator. Uh, there's a ladder that pops in here. We just take it out for the boat show so nobody climbs down in there. Um, yeah, she's fully out standard. Stacked washer and dryer. Nice thing about these, this open, you open this up, and you'll be able to see if you can, if you sight line on these, that you undo these, they come right out. We can carry them out of the boat, so if you ever fail, they're not boxed in, and it's a real challenge getting them in and out, so it's a really nice feature. If you take a look in your port guest suite, this is available with stack bunks or this, uh, it, it's a queen double, because double at the forward end, queen at the south end, if you will. Sure. And you could have a secondary berth on top if you wished. Uh, and you, as you stream to your right and forward, it has its own end suite head as well. All those staterooms either have their own stereo system or they're all networked depending on what the owner's requests are but they all come with stereo systems televisions etc usb usc plugs now just beautiful again that's a heated floor that you're stepping onto not currently turned on we use we heat these off a of diesel heat so we run the heater for about an hour in the morning, heat the floors up, and then turn them off, and they stay warm mm -hmm. all day.
but you can look around, you know, look at the woodwork. Coming here down around the doors, how all the pieces are fitted. There's nothing that looks out of character. Uh, this is simple. This gets you to the top of your holding tank. So the center is a holding tank level indicator, and it unscrews and comes out. It's mm -hmm. so actually on these type of things where you see the little black spots on top. You pull these out. There's three of them in here, and that's actually how it measures the level. It's a tube, and you can adjust the to make sure when your tank's empty, you can adjust these so the lights go off at different levels. It's one of those simple, fun things that you can do if messing with a holding tank is fun. Yeah. So, again, you're going to step into the owner suite, and there are three hatches in here, again, that let you get down into your bilge. Uh, in here, you'll see two float switches, one low in the bilge and one high. One's a high water bilge alarm in case you get, you know, water is coming in. Second one is your standard build uh, float that turns your bilge pump on. But again, you can see how nicely finished the boat is. Absolutely. So, this is your standard king size bed. And on the 750, we have this European design, which you'll see as you go around the right hand side of the bed. On most of the boats, you'll step into this space, you'll look at the bed. There'll be a door here that leads you into the head. So there'll be a toilet off of this side, vanity and stall shower in the center. Then on this side, there'll be a door. That would be a massive walk-in closet. And so this arrangement you're going to see is, is becoming the more and more popular because our boats have a lot of hanging lockers. So as you look aft to the right, you kind of get a glimpse of a mirror. That's actually a linen closet. Then you have a hanging locker. And as you step in, there's another locker to your right. And then if you pan around and pan to the left, there's two more lockers on this, this side as well. So drawer space, locker space, uh, security space for goods. They're all in here. Um, you'll notice if you look here, this is a Garmin screen. This is fully functional, so it can run your autopilot, your radar. This is one of the two cameras in the engine room, so it's really nice. You can monitor your boat and the aft deck, fore deck, all from in here. That's fantastic. Again, just some of the standard features on the boat. Uh, horizontal port lights, and the reason for these, and not, not a big glassed-in panel, is for safety since this is an offshore cruising boat. These are all through-bolted. You have all, you can tell looking from side to side, you have all the visibility you want outside. And you can open these up when you're at anchor and get a good cross breeze if you don't want to run your air conditioning system. But this is done specifically because it's an offshore cruising boat. Sure. Every manufacturer has their thing that they do. We do this for safety. Again, nightstands, and there's US, in this boat, they're USB, not USC, because it was built in 2022. Mm -hmm. But you have AC, USB, plugs everywhere that uh, throughout the vessel. Uh, why don't you st take a step around, and I'm going to follow behind you so you can get the full effect of stepping into this beautiful head. And that's a linen closet behind you. Wow. But storage in here abounds. So when you look at these two sinks and you see where the plugs are, both sides here have their own storage for the owner's personal items. It's a large head, and I mean, the shower. I'll step in front of you for a moment, if I may. Not that, not that anybody wants to see a broker in a shower. But they've which, never seen you, Martin. Yeah, well, <laughs> let's see if I can get the shower door open. Maybe that would be a bit, or there we go. I had it locked. But if you were looking from a standpoint of a size of a shower, for um, there's a rain shower head here. And you just bring this down lower, so you can use this as the body massage shower, and then the upper shower, but the amount of space in here is incredible. It's huge. So, lots of lots of storage down below. Again, access into your bilge here. Uh, it's just a great boat. Uh, I mentioned a linen closet. Wow. All the, all the hanging lockers are cedar lined. And when you look at the bureau across with the drawers and that design, when we're building a boat for a customer, it's what they want. So all of this is done to the owner's specifications. 
they wanted a settee on this side. This could be a bureau. It could be a vanity. It could be, you know, we build in uh, beverage centers down here so they have refrigeration and a sink and whatever a client might need. So that's where the semi-custom comes in. Again, plenty of headroom and it, natural light. So you have a really nice mix between satin finished cherry, which is on, on the darker side by getting towards walnut, and these light panels, they're not white. They're more ivory-ish bone color. And, but that brings it, makes it bright. And around the, the port lights, port and starboard, so it lightens the space up. Sure. And then you have a lot of indirect lighting underneath the bed. So at nighttime, you can just turn on uh, bits of the indirect lighting. So you can get up in the middle of the night, get up and about, and not feel uh, unsafe. Yeah, this is just a massive, massive master bedroom. And again, these beautiful raised panel. I mean, the attention to detail in here is something else. So, should we go to the Sky Lounge? Please. All right. Again, nice, nice curved wood, rectangular, easy to get a good grab on. Wow. Again, this is why it's called the Sky Lounge is finished like the rest of the boat. We do do enclosed bridges, but a true Sky Lounge is outfitted like the rest of the vessel. The raised panel design. Now, in this case, we have a Lobasto sunroof, so you get all this beautiful natural light. You also have insect screens and a diffuser screen on the other side that pulls across. But if you stand here at the Helm Station, and you look at the bow, you look at your visibility. It's fantastic. And we use this kind of satin finished black that is wrapped in it, so it cuts down the glare. Mm -hmm. Usually when this is white or sh real shiny material, you know, your eyes get, uh, I believe, more tired throughout the day. So with this, you can see all the light coming in, but it's not reflecting off of all this black trim. Same thing with the wrapped helm station. Consoles low, so when you're looking, you can see the rail on the Portuguese bridge sitting on the chairs are adjustable height, of course, with footrests, these uh, pomponet chairs. And again, we were talking, showing earlier that you have the different uh, cameras. And you can go to options, source, let's see, flybridge deck, and then you can go to swim step so you can see people getting on and off your boat as well. And let's see, cockpit. That's so you can see, and that camera probably has a little film on it. So you can see when people are getting on your boat. You can monitor around the boat, which is really nice. Absolutely. So. We may be getting a bit of flicker from the screen. So oh, they're gonna, they are yeah, going to do but, that. Right. So, but it's but, really amazing. Yeah, and the both sides of the screen? Uh, these are 22. Yeah. And then you have track ABT stabilizers, hydraulic thrusters. And one of the things that we do in all the endurances with the hydraulic thrusters, we don't just use one hydraulic pump, we put one hydraulic pump on each engine set. Hmm. So at idle speed, you have upwards of 80% thrust. You don't have to try to put these things in neutral like this and then rev it up and hit the thruster. You have plenty of thrust at idle to, to maneuver the boat around. Sure. And then when you're cruising, like I say, if you look aft, I mean, look at your visibility when you're cruising. You're out there in open water. You can see behind you. Yeah. Another yeah. nice feature out on the deck, there's refrigeration, barbecue, ice maker, all that out there. And then in here, besides this, this sumptuous big settee, which is great when you're cruising. And these beautiful table with this compass rose inlay. Gorgeous. These fold in, so put these supports in. Makes it easy to get around the table. And But while you're cruising, you have a beautiful bay head. Take a look inside. So if you're actually cruising from here to Ketchikan or down to Mexico, and you're up cruising, you and your off watch person can switch back and forth and you have a day head. Sure. I can't. Instead of going all the way down yeah, that's below. Wonderful. Again.
Then you have this beautiful aft deck. Watch your step right here. So when we were on the down below in the cockpit area, this was the hatch we had closed so people wouldn't be going yeah. up and down both ways. Uh, this is a 14 foot tender. You can run your tender fore and aft or sideways, but you can fit 16 feet on the deck. Now over here, it's not all uncovered, but you have a 30 inch DCS stainless steel barbecue. This is an infrared. <laughs> Uh, this is a propane locker, U.S. Coast Guard approved sink, refrigerated with ice maker behind that cabinet over there. And then one of the other great features in this boat is you can walk all the way around the second Portuguese bridge. We have our socks on so we get wet, but there's helm stations on either side up there as well. Mm -hmm. So if you're running the boat from here, you want to step out, there's a starboard access door, side deck door. You can run the boat from that side deck, so when you're docking from here, if you want to dock up here, you can look right alongside the boat. Or you can go to the cockpit area and run the boat from there and sight line. So really easy boat for two people to handle. I can see that. Yeah. No, it's just so well thought out. Behind this dinghy, there is a, on this boat, I believe it's an ES-1500 uh, pound seal head davit power rotation. Uh, on the aft deck, when you stop, stepped on board there are two stainless columns and they're not there for deck support even though that's great they're actually large and there's a standpipe so the davit is all the way aft on the boat standpipe goes down to the base hull so it's really have a good base but what that allows you to do is say you go into your slip at a marina bow in we can launch the tender off the stern a lot of boats have their davits up here right and you can only go off one side. So if you go in a marina, you have to launch your tender before you get there. And in this case, you can get the boat tied up, mom and dad or whoever can get comfortable, and then they can go just launch their tender at their, sure. at their leisure. And when the tender is deployed, this is a wonderful place to bring your table out, oh, yeah. enjoy. You already have the lower deck that's covered. You can have this. And we can do the uh, canvas cover back here that just pops in place with the rails, and you can have a nice sun cover back here as well. Fantastic. So we can step in. You want to we'll show you the four state room and the engine room? Please. All right. Let's go. Probably coming down, you can really see the galley. Another yeah, the cool galley feature. Is spectacular. Are oh, the, that is To really lock the nice. chairs in yeah. place. Yeah, just all the little touches and the attention to detail. Just little simple things when you're getting up and down, just having this to grab onto. It means so if much. If people's legs are, you know, tired, it's just surprising what this little handrail will do yeah. for someone. No. Same thing going down, you have a handrail. Most people grab it here, here, and then they'll grab the handrail on the way down. Halfway down, which is hard to see, there's a handrail right here as well, and another one right here. So, depending how depending on how people use the boat, this is considered the children's room, teenage children, because they'll have this whole area. There's refrigerator, sink. This is we just use as a protective cover because they do a lot of their own work on the boat. Sure. But you have a double single bed, and this is a layout. When you see this layout, that's how the third stateroom could be laid out forward as far as the berthing goes. We'll show you there's a split head and shower, but there is a lot. It's, it's amazing how much space is in the boat. So when you people talk about shore power cords and the Glendean Cable Master, that's, that's a mechanism that, that is the heart of the Cable Master. So you can see the white cable going through. It's just a roller system that brings it in and pushes mm -hmm. it out. That's the tub that it goes into. The rest of this is basically a battery chargers and inverters, one part of the house bank batteries. These tubes you see here are for the water maker. It has a, a blue water water maker system, but good access to get to all the equipment that's housed in here. It's one of the things that you'll notice in our boats. And every, see how the walls are finished, even though they're just fiberglass walls, they're all sanded, they're all painted. So there's no rough edges when you go in here to work on our the equipment. The rest of this is pretty basic. It's all storage, but it's really nice. Modifications to any of this is based on an owner. 
Back in here is exhaust running through the bypass. That's why it's covered. Mm -hmm. And any place that they don't want you to get right into, they'll have another cover in front of it, which is usually removable with four screws. Our main electrical, you're in the right spot. So our main rotary switches, this selects between shore power and generators. And then you, you can see it says 220 volt, 220, 110, just that. Some of it's 220, some of them are for outlets and then 24 volt. Uh, this is for the air conditioning system. You see this little red light that's flashing? We're only running one of the two chillers. We have the one compressor two off. You only need to run one compressor. If you run either one, this little light will come on. If you're running both of them, this little red light goes off. Um, and this is the switch for our diesel furnace. And this is finished in the back, just like when I showed you upstairs. It's all nicely finished. So, uh, over here, this can be configured any way a client wants it. Normally, this cabinet is back a little further, or it's against the back wall. This owner wanted it this way. There's usually a microwave in here, because you have a refrigerator here, refrigerator and freezer, and it never gets used. And then, you have a stainless steel sink here. Oh, wow. Ooh, I know, Dell oil and everything. So, um, this is a radiant heater. This actually goes on the aft deck above the table. It plugs in so they can have radiant heat. This is a nice, whether you call it crew quarters, guest accommodations. So, you have a desk, television, stereo, hanging locker. But in that third stateroom up forward, this is what you could have done above it. Hmm. So you could have the queen double down below and the single up above. So depending on how someone would use a boat. Sure. And this is great if you have a captain on board. So yeah. husband and wife, again, in this type of boat, this is a massive amount. This is a big stateroom. Absolutely. Huge, Jack. Yeah. And then back here, Hopefully why don't you open, that, want, open those two doors. Open that one on your left first. This is the crew head. It's finished just like all the other heads. It's absolutely beautiful. When people ask why there's not a shower, open the other door. Okay. What will I find? I <laughs> a shower the two of us will never be in together. <laughs> but I'll look at the size of the shower. Wow. No, that is something else. And then and forward, there's port lights that are underneath the settee. So you have natural air and light so you can leave those open because they're underneath the forward part of the settee on the aft deck and i'll show you when we're up there too. and then the engine room is here and the headroom in here is incredible so the door itself is less than six feet it's like five foot ten come on in but this is a dream engine room. Sure I mean, if you're going to get excited about anything on the boat, if you're in the mechanics, this is it. These are C18, 1136 brake horsepower or 1150 metric horsepower. You can see underneath all the space that's here. So when you want to service the boat, you can. Um, we choose blue lights under the engines instead of white. Uh, it's not as bright, but when you drop something in there, you can still, you can see it and it just isn't it's not as harsh on the eyes and so and maybe it looks good as well but you'll see if you zoom in on anything where wires go through there's rubber grommets through the stringers so all the wiring and they're all in looms so they're very well protected uh, when you look at our stringer system so these stringers that you see go across go all the way up and go up the hull sides this is a complete unibody, that's how I look at it, the stringer system. They're not tabbed, they're completely glassed together. Um, so when we, when we were talking about the, the fuel tanks, so our fuel tanks are here. I was talking about the inner diameter. This is the crossover between the two tanks. So you open these up while you're fueling the boat. We leave them open all the time unless the boat starts to develop a list. You can see the fuel. We put this LED lighting behind this acrylic tube or yeah, side tube, and you can see where the fuel's 
is really nice. You also have electronic gauges up in the Sky Lounge sure. as well. Easy to get around. The engines. So, so you can look on either side. These are the top of the ABT stabilizing system. Hmm. So when they're not being used, you have a lockout pin right here, and it kicks in automatically when you release it. This way it keeps your fin straight. When you don't have the hydraulics, the fin's going to have a tendency to wander when you're just sitting. Right. Again, these are zero speed. So when we're at anchor, uh, on the port generator, if you were to look at the aft end, there's a hydraulic pump that comes off of it. So when you have the anchor out and you're off the beach, the fins work to cut down the amount of roll you have at anchor. All of our boats have dual Raycor fuel filters, Groco through hauls and sea strainers. The sea strainers are, have the baskets where the impurities you're trying to get, if seaweed stuff gets through, it gets caught in the basket. Right. Uh, in our water intake systems, they're also set up to be emergency build pumps. There's that platform below you, you lift it up, there's a valving system. So if you were to be able to put a hole in this boat, which would take a lot because this hull has two layers of Kevlar from China to China, three layers in the forward impact zone, uh, it'd be very difficult to uh, rupture this hull completely. So very safe. There's dual yeah. Northern Life generators, a 25 and a 30. The noise you're hearing in the background besides me is the uh, that pump's kicked on as a circulation pump for the air conditioning system. And Aft there on the right side, that is the chilled water system. And that's a heat pump system, just like you would have at home. It either and it has a glycol mixture, a closed a closed system that goes throughout the boat, and it either heats it or it cools it, and the fans blow the air out, and that's your heating and cooling. Uh, you can kind of see if you look right here, that white unit sticking out, that's the hydraulic pump. And that runs off that generator for the zero speed stabilizing system. It, they call it at rest stabilization. And this right here is another one of those. There's one of these on each engine, and those are the main hydraulic pumps. So, as I was saying, when you're at idle speed, maneuvering the boat around, that's driving the two, because there's one on the other engine as well, that is driving the uh, thrusters. What a spectacular engine. Cool. And it no problem getting to anything. No. They've really thought out the access. And this is an Alaskan veteran. I mean, they took it up, ran it in Alaska for the summer. Um, so it's great though. And as I said, it's the third one they've owned in four years. And this is just on display or is it, is it do we have a price It is on? on display, but the owners are in the process of considering ordering a new endurance. Okay. And so it will probably come on the market in the next couple of weeks. And if I was going to give you a price, it's $4.8 million. And a replacement, if you ordered one, would be 5.5. It takes us 13 months to build this model and another couple months between shipping and commissioning and handing over to the client. Um, I would have guessed more. So that's. Uh, it's, I'd say it's a family run business. Sure. They own all their properties. So there is no debt servicing a boatyard. So, and 5.5 million is everything except your local sales tax. Any U.S. duties, everything you pay, shipping, all that is included. And that's handing the boat over to the owner. That's keys in hand. All the linens are in place. The crystal, everything's on board, ready to go. Martin, this is uh, absolutely a treat and just an incredible vessel uh, to be aboard. And we can't thank you enough for taking us through. Well, you're welcome. I have not done this before, so, you know. <laughs> I appreciate the opportunity. Well, it certainly doesn't show. You're a pro. <laughs> yeah, um, this was uh, excellent. We will uh, yeah. definitely, please, in the comments below, let Martin know what a great job he did. <laughs> oh, um, thank you very much. This is absolutely beautiful. And ask any questions that you might have. Thank you again. And uh, we will see you soon. Bye.